garden. Call it the demonstration garden. Yeah, so the purpose of this garden is to show a lot of different uses of, of plants uh, that maybe people may, might not consider all the time for use, although I think a lot of them are getting more and more popular now. Uh, now so this, this composes of a lot of different plant materials. We have uh, an amazing collection of bamboo. A lot of people don't think about bamboo in Southern California, but they're actually a very drought tolerant plant. Uh, we have, I think, one of the most beautiful collections of, of succulents and, and cactus uh, species over here in our, in our garden, uh, our, our cactus garden is what we call that. We have a, a residential fruit tree demonstration area that shows you know, how people can grow fruit trees on a smaller scale for their backyards. We have a citrus and avocado demonstration area. And then we have a few different areas where we just try new, uh, new species of ornamental plants, whether they be trees, shrubs, ground covers, and then we try to, to see how they'll do. And if they do fine, it you know, looks like it'll work here. We talk about them. If they don't do so well, we, you know, we move on and look at other, other things. This, this garden was designed and built by students. It continues to be. We usually have one or two students who this is their sole area of responsibility to, to maintain the irrigation and just to maintain the grounds and to, uh, to talk the gophers into moving somewhere else. Okay, but yeah, so classes use this for plant identification. They use this for uh, irrigation troubleshooting and irrigation management and and, and again, kind of as an area where we can experiment with new plants, different types of plants, and, and try to come up with things that, that people could actually walk through here and, and say, hey, I like how that plant looks, I can go and try that in my yard. So almost, I guess, like, like a mini botanical garden, if you would. And we, we give tours to kids from the ages of 5 to 95 out here. And it, it, I think it's fast becoming one of the the most favorite places for people to visit. So it's amazing that it's very difficult to see, like even driving by, but when you get in here, if you were to take a picture of just the, the cactus garden by itself, you know, you could almost, you wouldn't know where you were. All right, people would access there. this. Uh, the gates open Monday through Friday from early in the morning, seven in the morning, probably till about eight o'clock at night. And Periodically on the weekends, the, the main gates open, but it's always accessible walking up through Building 80. We limit driving access at night and on the weekends uh, just to limit the amount of cars driving through the farm area uh, because it's better for our animals and, and everything else and our students who live here on campus to, uh, you know, to, to be able to limit the traffic driving through. But it's accessible all the time walking into here. We don't We've spoken with many people on campus who've asked if they can come up and use this for a variety of purposes. Uh, but a lot of it has to do with photography and drawing. So it's uh, yeah it's it's pretty popular with those classes. But yeah, anyone can come out here at any point in time and and, and check it out. So